Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Bernie and in this video, I will show you how I color grade my YouTube videos using the CinemaGrade app. Let's go! So now I'm in Final Cut Pro and this particular video, in this case, my footage from the DJI Mini 2 unboxing. I already have the files on my external hard drive since this was filmed weeks ago. Right now, this is the uh, timeline that we are going to color grade. I actually have here a multicam clip. As you can see, I have three layers of videos right here. But this one is basically the one that we are going to color grade using the Cinema Grade app. So this one, what we're going to do actually is click or highlight the clip you want to color grade and in this case this first top layer so here we go and then we're gonna go to the effects tab and i have already selected cinema grade right here so double click and now as you can see in the inspector tab you have the cinema grade right here with this check mark meaning to say that it's already added to the video but there's more <laughs> actually so you open controls so once you hit open controls, you will see this screenshot right here. So let's do it again, guys. So whenever you put or wherever you put your cursor, it will actually take a screenshot. And that is going to be the frame that you will be working on. So in this case, let's choose uh, something. Oh yeah, this is nice because I can see there's actually white here. Or I'm holding a piece of uh, paper right here. So in this case, open controls. One click and see, it matches what's being selected, right? So on the top left hand side, you will see the light right here as well as color. And in this case, if I click this area here, it will show the highlights, midtone, shadows, adjustment, wherein you will see this plus sign. Click and hold it. And you can see there's another option wherein you can choose between exposure and the shadows, midtones, and highlights right here. All right, same thing with contrast here. You can actually choose between contrast and pivot, but I don't touch pivot right here. I just use contrast and I am good to go. Next thing is the color right here. See this one, when you click this, you can actually adjust the color tint. But if you click and hold the eyedrop tool, you will see color temperature, color tint, or even auto white balance. So let's say you want the auto white balance, right? You just have to click it one time. Click and hold it and then choose white balance. Bam! But I don't want to do that because it messed up my color right here. So what we're going to do is we can just command Z and it will go back to its default. Now moving on right here. This one is the saturation control as well as shadows, midtones, and highlights. If you want to adjust more saturation or if you really want to lessen the saturation or maybe even black and white, right? And this next icon right here and you can see the adjustment tool U saturation luma adjustment and there's actually a direction right here on how to do that but we are not gonna touch this once right here because i just wanted to show you the easy way on how i do it as well because i want it easier for me and for you too and this time around you see all the options right here with the base correction but actually i'm not gonna do the base correction because i wanted to see the final output right away when i make changes so i'm going to do final grading right away there's actually no rule and perfect way of doing it this one just works for me so yeah better yet experiment with this app you can see here the, we have three arrows right here one here one here and one over here so all you have to do is to hover your mouse if you wanted to see the options like in this case we have this look selection so we have here recent looks lots and the look transfer but i don't mess with any other settings i just go straight away with lots right here so click on that and see here the default is none in this case we go to the search bar and type c-a-s-s -S, and it will lead to this cassiterite lot since it's highlighted already so we will accept that bam see look at the changes right away and yeah guys so the last that i have here are all stored in my external hard drive and you will just select which one you want the cinema grade app doesn't store them natively we will now be doing a normal tweaking of the image because the image actually looks really good right off the bat 
Now moving on to this side of the app. And the thing about this one, I'm a visual person, but if you want numbers or if you want to adjust everything precisely, you can actually go here to this arrow on the right and it will lead you to a bunch of numbers right here. As you can see here, grading. And the uh, next thing is the light, meaning you can actually adjust the exposure as you can see right now. See? highlights and everything so really if you want precision you can do this but really guys i don't normally go here to adjust everything i just want it visually adjusted because it's easier for me to see but you can definitely adjust there's no right or wrong of doing things inside the cinema grade app adjust accordingly and here in this bottom part this is the film grain i sometimes use this one because i really like the film look that this one is producing so the amount here i just put it to number 10 so for you to be able to see the changes to be reflected on this clip all you have to do is to click this one the eye and just adjust accordingly so normally i just put number 10 so there you go guys a simple way of uh, tweaking the numbers if you are that kind of uh, user but for me i'm a visual person i like the changes to be reflected to see the changes quickly so i use just the adjustment right here on the main clip itself now this arrow right here you can see this is basically the timeline see 11 18 this is the clip that has been chosen but i can actually choose any other clip i want in this case let's just choose this one okay now let's go back to the arrow right here and choose lots and in this case i'll search for the cassette to write and this one highlight it and accept see it's already nice looking but in this case i want to adjust the shadows midtones and highlights so i click on that as you can see right here it says highlights midtones shadows adjustment so what i'm gonna do is to actually click on my face a little bit right here and then see once you click it and once you hover to that plus sign you can now adjust it so see we adjust it or we lower it down right now i want to adjust the contrast so i'll click on the shirt or my hoodie and then see adjust it accordingly and i wanted to adjust the background as well so click on the background and adjust accordingly all right so this one contrast let's add the overall contrast to the image And let's adjust the overall exposure. As you can see right here, it's clipping a little bit if you adjust it too much. See? So again, guys, for you to be able to see what's inside here, just hold it. Just click and hold it. And you can select which one, right? So in this case, shadows, midtones, and highlights. Highlight it again, and then you'll be able to adjust it accordingly. See, the key here is this plus sign. So wherever you put this, and that's the only part that will be adjusted. All right, I think that looks good. And hit apply. And as you can see, guys, it matches the color right here. And if you're happy, then you just hit X or close it. There you go, guys. What do you think? Will you be using this app from now on? I highly suggest that you try the app first and see if it's the right one for you. So that's about it, guys. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And while you're at it, hit that bell notification icon to be notified with more awesome videos. This has been Bernie. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.